I welcome you in the name of the Lord to our Passion Week Meditation on God's Word. Today is Day 5, Good Friday, the day when Jesus was crucified on the cross. He bore our sins and guilt on himself and was slain like a lamb instead of us, so that we can be forgiven and accepted by God. His wrath against our sins was satisfied, and we are washed by his blood once for all. This is the good news. What we will do today is simply reading the passage of his death and be reminded of what our Lord Jesus had done for us. So join me and let's read God's word together. Our scripture comes from John chapter 19, verses 1 through 30. This is the word of God. Then Pilate took Jesus and flogged him, and the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head and arrayed him in a purple robe. They came up to him saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and struck him with their hands. Pilate went out again and said to them, See, I am bringing him out to you, that you may know that I find no guilt in him. So Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. When, when the chief priests and the officers saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him, for I find no guilt in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and according to the law, he ought to die because he had made himself the Son of God. When Pilate heard this statement, he was even more afraid. He entered his headquarters again and said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. So Pilate said to him, You will not speak to me? Do you not know that I have authority to release you and the authority to crucify you? Jesus answered him, You would have no authority over me at all unless it has been given you from above. Therefore, he who delivered me over to you has the greater sin. From then on, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. Everyone who makes himself a good king opposes Caesar. So when Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat and placed at a place called the Stone Pavement, and in Aramaic Gabbatha. Now it was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about the sixth hour. He said to the Jews, Behold your king. They cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. So he delivered him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus. And he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the Place of a Skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, in Latin, and in Greek. So the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write, the King of the Jews, but rather this man said, I am the King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts, one part for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture which says, They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did these things. But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he, had, whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, To fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there. So they put a sponge full 
of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all the things you have done and what your son has done for us. Lord, there are so many people around us um, that still don't know you or the gospel. And I just pray that they are able to hear this gospel and we can evangelize and reach out to these family members and our friends and um, to ones that just don't know you and that they can hear your word and believe in you, Lord. Lastly, Lord, I just pray for our maturity and for us to grow into a more Christ-likeness, that we may fight against sin and be more obedient and godly and be like you more day after day, Lord. Please, Lord, let this word resonate with us each and every day, Lord, and just know for us to know for us to know that we have you in our lives forever and that you died for us and you did all this just for us, Lord. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Turn your eyes to the hillside where justice and mercy embrace. There the sun of God gave his life for us, and our measureless debt was erased. Jesus, to you we lift our eyes. Jesus, our glory and our prize. We adore you, behold you, our Savior. Christ the Lion away. What a glorious dawn, fear of death is gone, for we carry his life in our veins. Jesus, to you we lift our eyes. Jesus, our glory and our Our Savior ever true, oh Jesus, we turn our eyes to you. Turn your eyes to the heaven, and a king will return for his own. Every knee will bow, every tongue will shout. our glory and our prize. We adore you, behold you, our Savior ever true. Oh Jesus, we turn our eyes to you. Jesus, to you we lift our eyes. Jesus, our glory and our Adore you, behold you, our Savior ever true. Oh Jesus, we 
turn our eyes to you. We adore you, behold you, our Savior ever true. Oh Jesus, we turn our eyes to you.